as we begin to get into code, how is your code organized in your project, whatever IDE that you happen to be using? The good news, it's very similar to what you've already done with classes. You're still going to have your .hs, you're still going to have your, your .cpps, there might be some resource files in it. All of these are going to be in the same directory in your IDE workspace. It's very similar to what you had before. All sources are there, all .hs are all, and driver are all in the same exact spot. There is no difference from what you did before. How your C++ program knows to include those other items is actually now two items we have to watch out for. You knew about the includes and how to include another piece of code into what you're doing. That part you know. But how do you include the inheritance? Well, that's here. We have class extended cube. Yes, that is a scope operator, public, and then cube. So what that means is, this is almost going backwards, the base class is cube, and the extended cube is the derived class or the subclass. Now I'm going to show you code of that here in a second, but I wanted to show you the overall setup when it comes to the project. There's really no different from what you were doing before. Yes, you're going to have a couple more .h's than you expected. And here in the code, there really isn't much difference either. You're still using the includes, but this time to specifically use inheritance, Yes, there is a one minor new code item that we have to include. 